Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. According to media reports recently, Russia has developed its own EUV lithography machine. This major breakthrough may break ASML's technological monopoly in this field and bring new changes to the global semiconductor industry. EUV lithography machines are key equipment for manufacturing advanced chips. The technical difficulty of manufacturing EUV lithography machines is incredible. No country in the world can build EUV lithography machines alone. Even the United States, Japan, and Germany, which started this competition first, cannot transform their EUV plans into competitive products and are limited to providing ASML with a single component. But it is precisely because of the key technology combination of these countries that ASML's high-end EUV lithography machines are very difficult to subvert and surpass. First of all, the small, high-power and stable extreme ultraviolet light source required for EUV manufacturing has always been mastered by the American Cyma company, and other countries have purchased it from it. China's argon fluoride lithography machine uses a light source with a wavelength of 193 nanometers, while the EUV lithography machine of ASML in the Netherlands uses a light source with a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, which is more than 14 times shorter than the DUV light source. Its provider is the American Cyma Company, which is the key technology of EUV lithography machines. The second reflective mirror surface can only focus and calibrate light with high precision and high smoothness lenses, so that light can accurately shine on the silicon wafer to draw tiny patterns. At present, manufacturers that can meet the lens standards required by lithography machines are also in Germany. In addition, composite materials, photoresists, and high purity chemicals used on chips are mostly Japanese patents. In addition, the accuracy of EUV lithography lenses is much higher than that of DUV. It is said that if the total area of this lens is enlarged to the same size as Germany, the error will not exceed 1 mm. Therefore, there are only a few companies in the world that can master lithography technology, and ASML has transformed these technologies into the epitome of its own products which also makes ASML occupy an absolute advantage in the field of EUV lithography. The EUV lithography required for high-end chips below 7 nanometers is only available in ASML in the world, and ASML's global market share is close to 100%. This also makes Russia and other countries face huge challenges in the development of the semiconductor industry. However, with their tenacious perseverance and outstanding innovation ability, Russian scientists have successfully overcome technical difficulties and developed EUV lithography machines. These lithography machines will use a laser light source with a wavelength of 11.2 nanometers instead of the standard 13.5 nanometers wavelength used by ASML. Therefore, the new technology is not compatible with the existing EUV infrastructure, and Russia needs to develop its own supporting exposure ecosystem. To this end, Russia will use an 11.2 nanometers xenon-based laser light source to replace ASML's system based on laser bombardment of metal tin droplets to generate EUV light sources. Charlo said that the 11.2 nanometers wavelength can increase the resolution by about 20%, which can not only simplify the design and reduce the cost of optical components, but also present finer details. In addition, the design can reduce the contamination of optical components and extend the life of key parts, such as collectors and protective films. From the perspective of Russia's lithography machine construction path, it has taken a new path. ASML has stuck the neck of global chip manufacturers, and everyone is thinking about other routes. Russia's self-developed EUV lithography machine will have higher resolution and more advanced performance, and can produce more complex and advanced chips, which will help Russia achieve greater breakthroughs in the development of the semiconductor industry, and will also provide new opportunities for the development of the global chip industry. 
Why is Russia capable of developing EUV lithography machines? This is to go back to the three core technologies of EUV lithography machines light source, projection lens, and workpiece stage. The biggest difficulty lies in the light source, and Russia is the leader in this field. In fact, as early as the 1970s, the Soviet Union had mastered the technology of EUV photolithography, and even the Dutch ASML used Russian technology when studying EUV lithography machines. For example, the light source theory of early research came from the Russian Academy of Sciences, and Russia provided it with a large number of optical devices. After the disintegration of the Soviet Union, Russian scientists did not give up this technology, but have been working silently, making important contributions to the development of key technologies for EUV lithography machines. One of the three giants of international light sources is Russia's holy light machine. In addition, the Institute of Microstructure Physics of the Russian Academy of Sciences also developed multilayer mirror manufacturing technology for the Netherlands, which was a remarkable achievement at the time. Therefore, from the perspective of historical accumulation, Russia's self-developed EUV lithography machine has technical accumulation and foundation. Today, the exposure of Russia's EUV lithography machine route is undoubtedly an event of great significance. The research and development of lithography machines requires mathematicians and physicists, and Russia has always been a strong country in science and engineering, especially mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Relying on its accumulation in basic research in mathematics, high-energy lasers, and plasma physics, Russia has chosen a distinctive new path in the research and development of lithography machines. Its new concept of high-performance X-ray lithography development did not completely copy ASML's technical route, but developed a new lithography equipment with a working wavelength of 11.2 nanometers, from 13.5 nanometers to 11.2 nanometers. Although both belong to the extreme ultraviolet spectrum range, this subtle adjustment and the change in wavelength have far-reaching effects. From reflectors to coatings, from the design of masks to the selection of photoresists, all key optical components and materials need to be customized and optimized according to the new wavelength. Since traditional lithography technology requires the use of customized photo masks to obtain images, ASML's EUV lithography machine uses extreme ultraviolet light, and Russia's self-developed EUV lithography machine can directly write lithography without a photo mask. It has more advantages in terms of economic cost and time cost. Foreign media reports also mentioned that Russia's self-developed lithography machine can also use silicon-based photoresists, which are expected to bring better performance at shorter wavelengths. This achievement not only demonstrates Russia's strength in science and technology, but also injects new vitality and possibilities into the development of the global semiconductor industry. This means that ASML will face challenges from Russia in EUV lithography, and its irreplaceable position may be shaken. Bypassing ASML's EUV lithography route is what many countries around the world are doing, including Japan and China, which are also trying BLE electron beam lithography technology, X-ray lithography technology, and nanoimprint technology. And Russia's new concept of high-performance X-ray lithography development has undoubtedly taken a new path. From the breakthrough of EUV lithography technology, we can see that Russia's scientific research and high-tech industry development seem to be radiating a new atmosphere. In the fields of lithography machines, industrial mother machines, key software, etc., its domestic substitution path is also being fully rolled out which will also have a far-reaching impact on the development of the global semiconductor industry. To a certain extent, Russia's route bypasses ASML's technical barriers and obstacles, forming a new model for lithography machine research and development. The emergence of disruptive technology is often when the continuous technology has reached its end or started to develop in a closed manner. In the next three to five years, Breaking the monopoly of EUV lithography machines, Russia may become a role that cannot be ignored, 
and will also achieve more brilliant achievements in the semiconductor industry. Let's wait and see.